my name is Marijn Somers. I'm coming to you from Belgium, but very soon you will also see me live at ESPC in Stockholm. And I wanted to give you a little knowledge. I wanted to give you like, until then, let's already start sharing knowledge. And this is about one of the new functionalities that recently rolled out that I am a really big fan of. And that is the new functionality to create nice forms to fill in lists. Um, what am I talking about? Let's jump to the screen and let's see what this is. So I am in my uh, finance SharePoint site. And what I can do here, first of all, is create a new list. So I click on the new button, click on list. And here I will use one of the templates that we have because these templates are pretty good. So I'm gonna use the travel request uh, template. So that means I'm getting a new list, but it's already populated with a number of fields that I can uh, use. So I'm going to use this one. I'll call it travel request. And then we we'll just wait a few seconds until this is created. There we go. So this is my list and you will immediately see that I now also have my new list look and feel like the, when you go to the lists app, you will see the list like this. This is also showing up in SharePoint right now. Um, but that is not the most important thing that I want to talk to you about today. Today, I want to talk to you about how to make these forms look uh, nice. Because if I want to add a new item, by default, this is the view that I'm getting. So this is not very sexy. This is not, this is not very compelling to, uh, to use. So what are options that we can do to make this look pretty? Now, a lot of you will probably say, oh, Power Apps. Power Apps is the way to do that. Power Apps is the way to make this beautiful, to add some logic to it. Absolutely, um, but Power Apps is not that easy or not that accessible for everyone. Um, not always that manageable either. So one of the things that you could do that we could have done for, for quite some time yet is to work with some uh, JSON code. And you probably see me somewhere around the world presenting about this. So this is some code that I have, which is all documented on the on, on, on the support pages of Microsoft. I'm, I'm not making this up. This is something that I have. And here I can say that I want to configure the layout. And here I can apply some formatting to my header, to my body, to my footer. I'll just post that in here. I'll do some previews. And so now you see my header is looking nicer. Yeah. Now, this is something that you could have done for quite some time already. So I'm just going to cancel that uh, for now because that's not what I wanted to say. It's not what I wanted to show. Uh, there is now a better way. There is now a nicer way, uh, a way that gives you more options to make something beautiful. And that is uh, this button right here is the forms button. And this does a few very cool things. So if I click on this forms button, I'm, I'm greeted with the screen where I can create new forms. I can create multiple forms that all have a specific purpose. You know? So this might be a form where people can create or request a new uh, travel request. So I can say request new travel. And here on this screen, there are a number of fields that people can fill in. Uh, but for example, I don't want to show this approved uh, field. So what I can do is I can just take that off because I don't want my people filling it in to say, yeah, that's approved. That's something that I want to have some logic or some Power Automate workflow uh, do in the back end. So I kind of want to get rid of that. Uh, so this is my, um, these are my fields that I have here. One of the cool things is that I can also add uh, new fields here. So I can say, for example, um, who is the uh, manager? And this could be a person. So this could be a manager who needs to approve, for example. Um, and then this field is showing up here on the uh, on, on my form, but it is also created in the list itself. 
So instead of creating new new columns, new, new fields, new metadata in the list, you can also do that right here from this form. So here on the left, on the right hand side, uh, we also see uh, our fields. So we can also like move fields around. I can move my manager field uh, all the way on the top. So I can have my title, my requester, the manager who needs to approve, things like that. Um, I can have that here so I can say what I want, what I don't want. And I can also play around with some themes. So there are some default themes that you can use that might fit your uh, branding a little bit because there's not a lot of branding that you can do. Uh, you can also create your own style, which has a few colors, a few background colors that you can use and then maybe uh, some team colors that you might want to uh, apply here um, as well. Um, it's saving my changes. Okay, so I can just go back here and I've got some settings uh, here as well. These are pretty limited right now. Um, so this is, um, am I accepting responses, yes or no? So is this a live form or should this be closed at some point? So you can close this here and then we have a confirmation manage instead of thank you for submitting your response i want to say thank you for um requesting travel oh that didn't work very well uh, travel um there we go something like that and um it is saving my changes and now i can uh copy uh the link this link will go to everyone in or it will be managed or applicable to anyone in my organization. I can copy that link. And now I can use that link to send in an email or to put behind a button on, on my SharePoint intranet um, and people can start to use that. So if people click on that button, they will go to this link and this link will bring them to uh, this form where they can fill in this form um so i can say um trip title i'm going to uh, stockholm for espc uh, the requester is me and the reason for travel is espc and um, i can't really remember the dates it's somewhere at the end of the year uh, that i want to go to and i can uh, submit this and you will see uh, my thank you message, my confirmation ma message. Thank you for requesting travel. And one of the cool things here is that I, I don't have to go back to the list or I'm not seeing that list. I just request travel and fill in the form and then I get greeted with this thank you message. And that is all. I, I don't have to have access to the actual list to uh, do this. So this list, my travel request list, that will only be, and let's refresh this so that my thing comes up. Um, this will, for example, only be for the people that are handling this travel. While this form might be applicable to everyone in my organization, maybe I only want to have a few people uh, to have access here um, on this uh, on this list itself. So that's a nice way to separate those two, filling in the form and managing this list. And if I go back to my forms, this is my request new travel. Maybe at some point I want to stop accepting responses. I want to close it down. Or maybe I want to duplicate this if I want to have another. So I can create multiple forms if I want to. Um, if I want to have a form for uh, airplane travel or one for car travel, something like that. I can have multiple forms that all go to the same list and are all managed by the same uh, thing. So it is pretty cool. Now, is this the best way? Mm, maybe not. So one of the things that um, when this was rolling out, I was super happy about, uh, but then I learned this is not really powered by another application that we have, which is the forms application. Now, the beauty of this is that if I'm an end user and I don't know a lot about Microsoft 365, I can very easily create a list, create some columns, data that I want to keep, and I have my forms button and I can create a new form that people might fill in. So this is 
very easy. This is very simple to set up and to teach people as well. While forms, uh, in forms, you can do more. You can create your whole form. You can open that up for people outside of the organization, inside of the, of the organization. You can do all nice things with teams. Um, and then people can fill that in and you can create some logic behind it with a Power Automate workflow to be notified about uh, new people filling it in. Or you can get that as a, all these fields uh, showing up in an email. Or you might also connect it to a SharePoint list, but then you need to do something extra to say, okay, these fields in my form correspond to these fields in my list. So it's more difficult to set up. It's more work, um, but you've got more functionality. If you need something nice, simple, something that everyone will understand how to do in just a few minutes time, uh, this is the best way to do uh, or to go forward with this list. Um, so that was that. Um, choose. You've got plenty of choices uh, to do this. Uh, but I love this functionality and I will definitely teach a number of my end users how to do this. Thank you so much. And I will see you in Stockholm for ESPC. Ciao.